everyone, welcome to another Happy Berry Crochet Tutorial with me Laura and in this video I'm going to be showing you how to make a butterfly. And this butterfly I've used a multicoloured yarn to add a little bit more interest and that's a DK light worsted weight yarn, it's a yarn weight of three. And with that we are going to be using a 3.5mm E4 crochet hook and you're also going to need a pair of scissors and a yarn needle as well. So that's a needle with a big eye at the top to fit your yarn through. Okay, so let's begin. And the first thing to do is get our yarn. Is we're going to chain four to begin. Let's chain four. So we can do our little slip knot. And if you're new to my videos and new to crochet, actually more relevant, uh, then I recommend checking out some of my beginner tutorials and then coming back once you've mastered the basic stitches. Okay, so we're going to chain four to begin. So one, two, three, and four. So chain four to begin. Then find your first chain down here and put your hook into your first chain. Bring the yarn through the first chain and bring it straight through the loop on your hook. And that makes a little loop of your four chains joined at the beginning and the end. And in the middle, you can see, don't confuse it with, that's your chain one hole. So you don't want to work into that. You need to find that center hole. If I put it over my finger, see that center hole? You want to put your hook into that center hole, not your chain one, because your chain one goes quite big. So find that center hole. There we go. Put your hook in there, bring the yarn through the center of your loop of chains, then just wrapping it around the chain. It doesn't matter how many chains you've got now. We need to work eight single crochet, and this is in US terminology, eight single crochet. So there's one, and then put your hook back into center again. The center gets easier to see the more stitches you work into it. So we need eight single crochets, so that's two, back into the center again, three, back into the center again, four, into the center again, five, six, so I'm just wrapping it around the chain, see the center hole's nice and big now, seven, I think I've done seven, haven't I? One, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, so you should have eight single crochet. It's a problem with sometimes talking and not paying attention to the actual crochet you're teaching, you lose count. <laughs> and then what you need to do is find your first single crochet, put your hook into your first single crochet and do a slip stitch. So we're just going to bring the yarn through that first single crochet and straight through the loop on your hook. Okay, and you should have eight single crochet stitches by the end of that first round. Okay, so then what we're going to do is we're going to put our hook back into that same first single crochet you've just slip stitched into. So that first single crochet you've just slip stitched into, we're going to put a hook back into there, like so, and we're going to do a single crochet. And what we're going to do first is we're going to create the larger part of this part of the wing here. So put a hook back into that first single crochet you just slip stitched into and do a single crochet. Okay, just one single crochet. Then we're going to go back into the same stitch again. We're going to work all of these stitches in that same stitch. So we're going to go back into the same stitch and do a half double crochet. So we need to yarn over to do a half double crochet. Back into the same stitch, half double crochet, pull through all three. Then we're going to do a double crochet. So we yarn over, go back into the same stitch again, and pull through two, pull through two to do a double crochet all in the same stitch. Then we're going to do two treble crochet, and if you've been watching my videos before, you should be pretty good on the treble so far. But to do a treble, we're going to wrap the yarn around our hook twice, so that's one and two. Put 
our hook into the same stitch again bring the yarn through and then with any stitch that is a double crochet or bigger you basically yarn over and pull through the first two loops until you end up with just the one loop on your hook so what we're going to do is we're going to yarn over pull through the first two loops yarn over pull through the next two loops yarn over pull for the last two loops and now you've done a treble we need two of those so we wrap the yarn around our hook twice again keeping that tail out the way go back into the same stitch again bring the yarn through then yarn over pull through two oh, I lost it I lost it no <laughs> back into the same stitch try that again so yarn over pull through two there we go yarn over pull through two yarn over pull through two okay there's your second treble then what we're going to do is we're just going to chain one and if you've made my five star, my beaded star, or my vintage granny square, then this may seem familiar because it's a similar technique. So we're going to chain one, then we're going to do another treble. So yarn over twice, back into the same stitch again, all in the same stitch. Then pull through two, pull through two, pull through two. Okay, then we're going to chain three. Let's chain one two three chain three then you need to find the stitch at the top of your treble crochet so there's your treble and there is your stitch it should be fairly obvious now you want to bring your hook down and put your hook into that top stitch there okay so there's the stitch just want to put your hook into that stitch at the top of your treble okay make sure your yarn is down here so you get a nice little pico, we're going to create a little pico. Bring the yarn through, then straight through the loop on your hook to do a slip stitch. Okay, so you've got your little three chain pico. Then we're going to chain one, and then we just repeat these stitches here. So we're going to do two trebles, yarn over twice, same stitch again, so we're still working into that same stitch. Sorry, I keep looking at the camera. Pull through two, pull through two, pull through two for your first treble, do another treble, yarn over twice, same stitch again, pull through two, pull through two, pull through two, okay so you've got your two trebles, then we need to do a double crochet, so we just yarn over once, same stitch again, pull through two, pull through two to do a double crochet then we'll do a half double crochet so just yarn over once same stitch again I know it's a lot of stitches all in that same stitch but it'll all come together pull through all three for a half double crochet then the very last one we're going to do a single crochet in the same stitch okay so that completes the top half of our butterfly wing this part here then what we're going to do is we're going to find you to pull your stitches over so you can see the next stitch that next stitch on your circle can very easily get hidden underneath your stitches and you might go into the next one there so make sure you pull your stitches over and find that next stitch on the main circle and in there we're just going to do a slip stitch okay just a little slip stitch like so then in the next stitch we're going to do the bottom half of the butterfly wing uh, so we're going to start off with going to the next stitch and do a single crochet to begin then we're going to do a half double crochet in the same stitch half double crochet and a double crochet in the same stitch okay double crochets single um, single crochet, half double crochet and a double crochet. Then we're going to chain three and do the same pico we've done here. So chain three, two, three. Then you need to find the stitch at the top of your double crochet which is there. Okay, so you can see it there. Put your hook into there and just do a little slip stitch to secure that pico. Then we just need to repeat these two stitches here so we do a half double crochet 
in the same stitch half double crochet pull through all three and a single crochet as well and that completes the left side of your butterfly okay this part here now we're just going to repeat it for the other side of your butterfly but the first thing to do is find the next stitch on your circle which should be easier to see shouldn't be too hidden and then that next stitch on your main circle we're just going to do a slip stitch and then in the next stitch we're going to repeat these stitches here so in the next stitch we do a single crochet half double crochet and a double crochet then we chain three one two three find the stitch at the top of your double crochet which is there put your hook into there and do a slip stitch then we do a half double crochet in the same stitch and then a single crochet in the same stitch there we go that completes the smaller part and then we just need to find the next stitch on the main circle next stitch do a slip stitch in there then in the next stitch we're going to do the same as we did here so we're going to start off with so going to the next stitch we're going to start with a single crochet a half double crochet all in the same stitch so a half double crochet then a double crochet then two trebles remember to wrap the arm around your hook twice let's do a treble pull through two pull through two pull through two so that's one treble we need another one so you've got two of these trebles okay then we chain one in between our next treble so you do to do you need to do another treble so wrap the arm around your hook twice so you do two trebles tra chain one then another treble Okay, so you've got single crochet, half double crochet, double crochet, two trebles, chain one, another treble, chain three, one, two, three, to do this little three chained pico. Find the stitch at the top of your last treble and do a slip stitch. Then we chain one. Then we need to do repeat these stitches here. So we're going to do two trebles all in the same stitch two trebles so there's one and your second treble then we finish up with a double crochet a half double crochet And you can squeeze in a single crochet <laughs> as well all in the same stitch okay then that should leave you with one stitch on your main circle and again you have to pull your stitches over so you can see it okay so there it is and in there we just want to do a slip stitch like so to finish then what we're going to do just to finish up the little feelers we are going to, or whatever they're called, I'm just going to bring our yarn up. So just once you've slip stitched and that last stitch, just pull up your yarn to about an inch in height, just less than an inch, okay, to create a loop. And then take out your hook, you can see there, I've got a loop. Really shouldn't have chosen a light yarn, I do apologize. Then turn it over. And then keeping your loop, what we're first thing to do is we're going to cut the beginner tail yarns. So just pull it tight, close that hole. Cut your beginner tail yarn. Get that down. Then what we're going to do is we're going to cut our main yarn. 
but don't pull the loop just leave that loop there and we're going to sew that loop into place so we're going to thread on our yarn tail end and without tightening that loop let's keep that loop we're just going to sew it into place so just go through on the back just go through some stitches don't pull too tightly let's keep that loop come back in the opposite direction and just go back in the opposite direction to finish trim the excess down like so and what you can do you can either keep the loop there to hang as bunting if you want loads of little butterflies or hang on hang it up as something else or what I've done is you can put your scissors through the center of the loop and just trim and then you get the two little feelers on your whatever they're called antenna feelers I'm not sure on your little butterfly so there we go you can join the other one you can make lots of these and turn them into bunting you don't have to cut the uh, the loop at the end you can make them in all different multicolored yarns as well so you get different textures so this one's much is whiter than this one and I expect if I carried on I would eventually end up with some green ones as well which would be nice but I hope you enjoyed that tutorial I hope you managed to follow along and again sorry about all my injuries on my fingers <laughs> having a bit of a rough time of it at the moment I've been tidying up our house and oh it's been some poorly people in my home at the moment so we've had a lot to to deal with but I hope you have enjoyed another tutorial I'm going to try and do some more longer tutorials bigger projects different projects um, soon especially leading up to Christmas already thinking about Christmas um, but please subscribe I really appreciate when when you subscribe or like or comment I'd love to hear your feedback and uh, you can subscribe by pressing the subscribe button wherever it appears on your device and you will be notified of all my latest tutorials um, I usually release one about once a week so but otherwise I will see you next week with some more crochet thanks for watching guys bye losing my voice <laughs>